Time now for The Clash. And as you just saw before the break, the country's most shameful export, Prince Harry, has continued his American cringe fest after appearing on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. So as the kicking and screaming Duke desperately clings to his fading relevance, tonight I'm asking, is Harry's behaviour embarrassing Britain? Let me know your thoughts by emailing dan at gbnews.uk. Tweet me at gbnews. While you're there, you can go and vote in our poll. The results shortly, but to help me make up your mind tonight, I'm joined by the socialite and royal insider, Lady Victoria Harvey, Member of Parliament for Blackpool South, Scott Benton, and the TV presenter and journalist, Alan Coughlin. Lady V, I mean, mm-hmm. I know you've just come back from Los Angeles and yeah. they treat royals differently over there, but mm-hmm. I feel what Harry is doing is not just embarrassing himself, it's embarrassing the royal family, it's embarrassing our current king, it's embarrassing our future king, it's actually starting to embarrass the country. You know, I don't, I don't actually see it as embarrassing the country. I think it is embarrassing him a little bit you know he's sort of going on and on and on and he's saying things that he hasn't said but they're clearly there in the book like we said about the Taliban you know but I don't think he's bringing down the country I don't think it's possible to do that just by having this this book what about the royal family because you obviously know them well right and he has come for his father and his stepmother and his well, brother in I, such I found, intimate detail. I know. I mean, we now, we now know that Prince Charles loves Shakespeare. Yeah, yeah and also, <laughs> yeah, that, maybe that's <laughs> not so damaging, but, like, no. William's private parts? I mean, what but, right does he have? Kate's text messages? Right, yeah, the text messages, that definitely that I was surprised about. Um, but as far as his relationship with William, I think when they were younger, you know, William was quite mean to him you know, at school, at Eton and stuff. I mean, I know how, you know, three years apart, it's a, it's a big gap when you're younger. But th- that relationship obviously wasn't as close as possibly people thought, you know, looking on. But who um, is benefiting from him revealing this? Who's benefiting? Yeah. Um, I, His bank you, balance? You know, let's say... I mean, there's four books, apparently, isn't yeah. there? So this is just the first. We've got yeah. the one of him and Meghan together doing a wellness book. Mm. And then Meghan's so. big tell uh, to come. <laughs> yeah. uh, Scott Benton, from a political point of view, uh, do you think this is starting to damage Britain? Without a shadow of a doubt, I think Harry's embarrassed himself, mm. his family, his friends and the country more importantly than anything. I mean, the monarchy is one of our finest national exports. Mm. People will be reading these uh, revelations throughout the whole world, and it reflects badly on our core national institution Mm. and the country as a whole. That's what's so Mm. sad for me about this whole episode. I mean, I don't think he could lie straight in bed, to be be quite honest. Um, (laughs) I agree with you on that. One thing embarrassing (laughs) himself, but it's a quite different thing having the constitutional Mm. implications this has of undermining the royal family, which is what he has done. So your colleague Bob Seeley is pushing this private member's bill to actually formally strip Harry of his title. Yeah, I think that is... uh, That's not really fair. I mean, I think, yes, look, it's a book. I mean, it's it's very... uh, You know, the things that he's saying, I mean, I could relate to some of it, to be honest, like the boarding school stuff and... Mm. But I don't think it's like you can't take its title away. He's do, just do you telling think you what happened. Scott? Well, I think there becomes a point when the damage I to mean, the Oprah. institution of the royal family suggests yeah. this is possibly a course but of I action we will Oprah, have to take. But I think the for me, this all the, the Oprah interview was the worst. This, I, this, I this has all happened like, before. Like, history is repeating itself like here. Diana like, did the same thing. Harry's right? not the first royal to do no. a memoir. Like, Charles no. done one in 1994. You mean but with Jonathan Dibbs? Which, uh, yes. So right. that wasn't authored by Charles. But he, he did. He cooperated, he did. He did. He gave 10,000 private letters to that journalist. He gave his journals, he gave his diaries, and he gave up his contact books. He said in that book that his relationship with the Queen was cold and he said that his relationship with Philip was more like a bully relationship. So he also went against the royal family there. This is Harry's argument, isn't it? Harry's argument 
is that he this has all been voice. done before. before. He's right. not the first royal to right. do this. And Harry stepped down as a senior member of the royal family. So mm. he's allowed to tell his truth after right. 38 years of the yeah. media spinning his truth. Like, he's allowed to tell his own right. now. Plus, uh, he gave 1.5 million uh, to do, charity. Do I don't think Charles did that. Do you embarrassing the country, right. No, of course I don't he's not think, embarrassing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, he's only embarrassing himself. Who's embarrassing the country is Prince Andrew. Let me show you this clip and we'll come back. Let's not go there. I've taken quite a leap from, yes. from grief and trauma to, to my todger. <laughs> todger, that's a, ve that's a very gentle it's, word. Is it gentle? Todger. Sounds well, like a nice nickname. <laughs> you know my friends, here's Willie, here's Todger. <laughs> here's John Thomas. Well, hang on a sec, yeah. But in Do I care for a game of tallywhacker? <laughs> That's not embarrassing. No, it's not. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if we're going to talk the, about royals embarrassing the royal family, surely we have to talk yeah, about don't, don't Prince Andrew. Don't, don't even Come go on, he paid 12 million to somebody well, he apparently no, he didn't, didn't even he know. He didn't. You're a little journalist. You don't know anything. <laughs> Exactly. What? It's oh, it's absolutely a... cringeworthy. I think he's embarrassed himself. No, if okay. I were to be his wife or his partner, I would be... That is absolutely shocking. Come on, Stop there's about a... your intimate part. Let's can we not television. talk about? Can we not it's talk ridiculous. about royals who actually have been accused of really bad sexual offenses just, instead just of somebody who released a memoir? Topic. Okay, well look, she oh, has no well, idea. Look, what we'll do? So, so Sorry, Lady, Lady V is no a big idea. defender of. No, no, I just know the. I know the real she's, facts. She's, she's okay? friends. Like I'm actually in communication with, like everybody, and I know what actually happened. You have no idea. So, like, you saying that stuff is like. But bullshit. if you're going to call Harry an embarrassment to Britain, you have I to didn't. look at the other I royals. I didn't say that. Well, I, I was I was asked a okay. question. Yeah, exactly. I have yeah. Seen. But 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 I He's given so given you have to... brought the Andrew point up. Can I just explain why I think it's very different? Mm -hmm. As a result of the accusations, and they are accusations and they are unproven, mm. I, I will give you that, Lady V. But as a result of those accusations, and as a result of the media revelations around Prince Andrew, he now has no public role. He has lost his job. Either it's does a Harry. very different situation to Harry, Harry who is going out on the public to. stage Harry to try and purposefully embarrass his family. I know, but if you're talking about royals embarrassing Britain, you can't, you can't look at Harry. He's released a memoir. What's so embarrassing Andrew about that? Has lost his and job. a Netflix yeah. documentary. And, and, and to be honest, what's embarrassing about it is the details in it, Scott. I mean, for example, when it comes to the late Queen, she spent her entire life and her entire career being impeccable when it came to ensuring that private, embarrassing conversations stay private. He has blown that. There is a passage in the book where he reveals every word that the Queen said to him in a private conversation about whether he should marry Meghan or not. She would be disgusted by that, Scott. It's not how she ever did business, and she didn't teach him to do that. I think she would. You're quite right. I mean, the difference between the example William and Kate set on one hand, their duty to this country, the class and decency they show in public service day in, day out, and then Howie, who is selling himself to the media to earn big money, wants to move to America. I mean, the difference is completely stark. Everybody mm -hmm. can see that. In terms of removing his royal titles, I cannot yeah, tell you how many people in my constituency have written to me to say, come on, this really? guy has done so far too much damage to the royal family. Enough mm -hmm. is enough. We yeah. cannot allow our finest national institution to be dragged in the mud like this. L Lady V, uh, William I mean, isn't going to forgive Harry for this, is he? I mean, I, 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 I don't know, because I have, you know, but uh, I, th I, I think it's going to take a while, for sure. You're the because queen the, of the, the quorum. You're part of these the, circles. How will they accept that Harry has turned into... Actually, I mean, he hates people like me, right? He, he hates tabloid journalists. Right. But actually, he's revealed far more than any tabloid journalist. He said far mm. more disgusting things than any tabloid well, journalist. Well, I think does. he's revealed a lot about behind the scenes of what goes on at Buckingham Palace. Like, I do know as a fact from other members of the family that it is true that you know the different members the the courtiers to specific family member will s give stories about the other one to get the story changed to get the newspaper yes, but ahead. he was doing that so too. that that stuff is all true but he was doing that too right but like so him and william had a pact that they wouldn't mm. sell stories on each other like 
But the but private sector. It's, it's all the private secretaries. Students, like, they have way too much power. But they answer to their royal. Not really. Like, what I've heard is they, they just kind of take the lead on a lot of stuff. But they don't do anything that their principal doesn't want them to do. Well, because apparently... Because their principal in one second can yeah, say, but, but, stop but whoever's in charge, just say Prince Charles, like, you know, he might not know all this stuff that they're, mm. like, plotting behind the scenes mm. on another me- fa- family member. Well, look, it's a fascinating one, and I think it's really interesting, Scott, that you say there's actually growing public anger about this, because I know some people think... Uh, this isn't a story that we should be covering. We should just Mm. ignore him now. But from my point of view, this is actually having grave constitutional implications because what he's trying to do is completely undermine the reign of King Charles, but also, more importantly, a future reign of King William, who he's trying to portray Mm. as some sort of of out-of-control, violent bully. And, by the way, that isn't the truth of William. Mm. and his character. Um, Absolutely. I mean, we've spoken about the constitutional implications. Let's not forget the security implications as well. I know. He has put a huge target Mm. on the back of our brave armed forces, the royal family themselves, and every single one of us in this country going about our daily business. That's why this is not just a soap (laughs) opera. It's affecting everyone's lives. Dan, I'm sure you remember, after Charles' book came out, The Sun Done a Poll, and two-thirds of their readers wanted um, Charles to be stripped of his oh, they did the as well. Same. So mm. this all sounds very familiar. Right. So, do you know, it's not the end of Harry and it's not, right. he's not well, making let, an Let's see how he turns people. things so around because I think we can all say that Charles has turned things around. Uh, look, fascinating discussion. Thank you yeah. so much. The Socialite Good to Lady see you. Victoria Harvey. Great to have you back. Member of Parliament for Blackpool South, Scott Benton, and the TV presenter and journalist Alan Coughlin. So who do you agree with? Is Harry's behaviour embarrassing Britain? Lawrence on Twitter says yes, although embarrassment is the least of it. Harry's shameless hate campaign is a threat to the reputation and security of the royal family and therefore to the British people. From Elliot, no, I think Harry is only really embarrassing himself at this point. Honestly, he's made it very clear he doesn't want any part in representing the UK anymore. And from Jack, it's especially embarrassing since those two boys were in everyone's heart after Princess Diana died. Harry has betrayed them and all they have left now is William. Your verdict is now in. 78% of you think that Harry is embarrassing Britain, just 22% of you saying he's not.